This is the condensing unit video, the HVAC condensing unit. This is the electric service disconnect. It's not located behind it, it's over to the side where it belongs. Here's inside the box. I got a still image of that. There's the dead front, there's the disconnect, which I had to remove to get the dead front off. There's the screw that I'm going to replace. This box should be sealed on three sides like the electric service panel. Uh, this is our data plate over here and like the indoor air handler we're learning that this is 16 years old this equipment is engineered to last 20 years okay on paper it might last 35 years but las vegas is going to give you 14 that's about how long these systems last is about 14 years after 14 years this thing is done just about everything you would expect it to do so it's, you know, Texas Real Estate Commission, they don't care. It's on or it's off. Is it performing the function for which it's intended? Or not? Or was it not installed properly? Or is it a safety issue? But my client might want to know how old things last. These coils are filthy dirty. Okay, coils need to be cleaned. Oh, so what else did we learn here? Okay, not, not just that it's 16 years old. It's a four-ton system. And we learned that the overcurrent protection is 40. We have a 50 amp breaker. It's overfused. And the refrigerant is R22. R22. No longer manufactured in the United States. No longer legally imported into the United States. Is there stockpiles of it? You bet. Is it expensive? Uh-huh. It's expensive. All right. So we got a unit here that's SEER 13. And it requires R22. Just about any technician that comes out here is going to rightfully so say i can get this thing running but it's going to cost you and it's going to keep costing you and it's I'm going to start breaking down more often and maybe you should budget for replacement yes they do sell alternative refrigerants they're less efficient than the uh, r22 which is a uh, 13 sear and right now we're selling units that are over 14 sear commonly 17 sear so you've got an inefficient system that's old, it's going to be expensive to maintain. If you put a new system in, it's going to keep your house much more comfortable at a better savings rate. And it'll pay for itself in a relatively short amount of time. That's called return on your investment. So you might want to think about, and I get it, it's an update, unless I can find out that it's not working, and we're about to check that out, but unless I can find out that it's not working, it would, you know, the pushback you're going to get from the other side is it working and your argument is it's 16 years old and it uses an obsolete refrigerant 